Hi, it's Jen uh, and Bella, the invader. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, parents with children who are healthy, um, but the parent is sick. Uh, it can be stressful on a child. Uh, they can become indifferent. Um, you know, I, I mentioned in a previous video, you can give them a small chore, say if they're a very young child. I mean, really, there's only a few particular things you can do to help us when we're at home anyways. Uh, I think I mentioned before, you know, my son was probably four or five, and he could bring me a cold glass of water. Or he could peek in and see when my water was empty and bring me some water, which made him feel like he was helping, which kind of helped him in the long run because we all feel so helpless when it happens. Um, I wanted to say um, because of the fact that we're down uh, and a lot of us parents, you know, it, it's a uh, very typical story nowadays. Um, we're alone and we're raising our children. Um, I didn't have um, my partner in my life until about three years ago. My son was full grown. He was 18 or 17. I mean, not necessarily full grown, but when it comes to, you know, he, he wasn't little anymore. He he was growing into his own man. Um, but for little kids, you know, I've been kind of thinking um, there are things that I, I wish I would have done. Um, unfortunately, I had the benefit. My son was very good at keeping himself occupied. He was three, four years old, we'd go to the doctor's office, I'd bring him a book, and he'd sit in the corner and read his book. I mean, he was just, you know, I, I really kind of lucked out in that. He was real good at, you know, he could pop in a movie and bring out his toys, and, you know, he would be content for the day. But there's a lot of children that aren't really like that. So, you know, I was thinking about different suggestions and the one thing that came up is I always had a craft box for when all the neighborhood kids would come over when they were little. It was full of all different stuff. We could make little macaroni picture frames. There was feathers, little pom-pom balls, just all kinds of little things I could pick up cheap when I could and it was all in one special box and that box would come out on, you know, a special boring day and everybody would make something and they'd take it home to their parents or we'd hang it on the wall or it was just like you know it was craft day so I started thinking of the same concept of um, our younger kids when we're sick uh, a lot of parents worry you know um, sometimes we don't have somebody that could come and sit with them or pick them up or you know we're, we're kind of stuck with what we have I mean it's for some people, that's just the way it is. We don't have a huge support system. Um, I was lucky. My parents, um, they would pick me up, and I had a great friend support group at the time. Um, and my friends would actually come over and make sure that he had got on the bus or off the bus, or they would, he would wake up and they would be there. Um, and they were good enough friends to where we considered them family. So for Chris, for that kind of help, because you know it was there was other people there with him you know that um, basically was was family so I was being taken care of at the hospital and he was being taken care of at home I was very fortunate uh, some people don't have that so I, I was thinking you know maybe like instead of a craft box maybe a, a sick day box um, so when they notice if mom dad grandma whoever their caretaker is sick or a, a brother or sister is sick and the parents uh, are basically unfortunately more occupied with the sick child because that's usually the way it goes regardless of what the illness is you know they kind of need our attention um, but a box that has like their special things in it things that really won't make a mess and if they do it's not gonna make a dangerous mess like I wouldn't suggest finger paints or water paint or you know things with glue or things like that because God forbid you come out and your poor kid is super glued or or glued to the TV remote <laughs> you know I mean kids do crazy things you gotta remember so like um, if you can trust them not to color on your walls you know get them a special coloring book you know that's just for that day you know a special box of crayons you know just for that day or um, 
say if you have a chalkboard or an easel, you know, in that uh, sick day box, you know, maybe have some different colors that they can use or paper that they could put on the easel and draw you like a get well poster or make you a got well card and, you know, because little kids like to make a smile. They love us unconditionally and that's just how they are. Um, that way, while you're sick, um, it takes a little bit more attention off Oh Lord, what's the little one doing? You know, and I don't mean little, little ones. I'm talking like, you know, between five and ten or whatever, you know, depending on their age ability, basically, you know, um, that they would have something that, you know, okay, mom's sick today, but I get to get out my special box. You know, maybe have a couple movies in there uh, if they know how to use the DVD player or this and the other thing where they know that they can, okay, cool, you know, I don't get to watch this movie very often because kids get bored, you know, pop that movie in, they have little toys, yada, 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 just something that you know they won't get bored with, hopefully, maybe you'll need a few stick boxes depending on how often you get ill. Um, but something for them to be like, oh, okay, it's not such a bad day. I get to play with these things that I don't normally get to play with. Um, so basically, that's what I wanted to touch on with this video. I mean, there's lots of little ideas. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's parents out there who have other ideas. Please put them online. Tell your stories online. Um, there's a lot of people with little ones that are just finding out that they're sick. And they're really going at this blind. You know, I'm kind of sitting here with years and years and years of undiagnosis and then years and of having a diagnosis. So these, a lot of these things I've kind of learned through trial and error along the years. Because um, I was very, very sick for a very long time and they had no idea. So I kind of had to just work around it and figure out what to do. And I figured I would just take, you know... It's time to pass it on. I mean, what's the harm, I guess? Um, but I don't know. That's for t uh, this video. Just, you know, make them a stick box or whatever you think your child would really like. Um, they would keep them quiet, contained, and um, content while you're sick and you know until help can get there to you or it might have to be all day which means they you know could have a morning box and an afternoon box or a Monday through Friday box I mean you just never know it, it's CVS hits us differently hits it as, at different frequencies um, so whatever your situation you know there's there's uh, you know hopefully that that might help somebody and if I ever hear someday, even if it's three years from now, hey, I made a sick box and it worked out really well. That would make my day and it would make this eight minutes well worth my time. Because that's all I'm trying to do is, you know, maybe make somebody else's day a little bit easier while they're falling down the rabbit hole into hell. Because that's basically what it is. So, um, spread awareness. Once again, we're our own best advocates. Uh, cvsaonline.org, Google, YouTube, and anywhere you go, Bing, just uh, keep looking up cyclic vomiting syndrome. You might see a, a new published story from a doctor. You might, you know, you just might find things that you haven't heard of even after suffering all these years. I still find out new things. I mean, they don't know everything about it, so every day there's a possibility we could find something new. Um, so. I hope everybody's enjoying their Sunday, and um, I don't know, raise awareness, we're not alone. <laughs>